Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of the 2023 Schubert World Premiere. In the best case, I could also say hello again, as you might have joined the first episode already, when we introduced the E2 to you as our new Adventure Premium Flip-Up Helmet. So I'm happy to see that many of you joined today, or maybe joined again, to watch what else we have to present. As the E2 evolved from the C5 as a natural consequence in the flip-up segment, there is another gap we wanted to fill. Schubert, of course, became famous for its flip-up helmets. But in fact, our heritage started in the full-face segment. It started in 1976 with the first full-face helmet made in composite material called Integral, and iconic models followed, like the famous Speed, which even find themselves in museums and collections today. And now, after our last Model S2 Sport, we wanted to develop a completely new Sport Touring full-face helmet, offering all features you would expect from a premium full-face and, of course, following the requirements of the new standard ECE 2206. So I'm very proud that I can present to you the new benchmark for full-face helmets, the Schubert S3. The S3 comes with a completely new shell, new design, all comfort and safety features of a Schubert helmet and it is one of the first full-face helmets with sun visor that is homologated against the new ECE 2206 regulation. But there is someone who can explain that much better. And those who had joined for our latest presentations know him already. Matteo, the floor is yours. Thank you, Christoph, and good afternoon to everyone. It's great to be here for the second episode of our 2023 world premiere. From the days when Schubert launched his first full-face helmet, the motorcycle market has drastically changed, but the premium sport touring and naked bikes are still two of their most relevant market segment. So, starting from the end of 2019, we have put all our knowledge and passion in the development of a new sport touring full-face. With the S3, we wanted to realize a full face able to combine the performance and safety of a super sport helmet with the comfort of a touring helmet. The result is a completely new helmet. Indeed, our S3 doesn't share a single component with its predecessors. What is not new at Schubert is our effort to offer the best head protection to all our customers, no matter which bike they ride. So, also for the S3, achieve the best active and passive safety has been the first goal of the project. After the C5 and the E2, which we recently presented, the S3 became indeed the third helmet of our range to be homologated against the new strict EC2206 standard. During the first episode of the 2023 Schubert World Premiere, we show you the additional test point of the new standard and we have explained you the new requirements of the EC2206 homologation. To cope with the new homologation and with our safety standard, the S3 shell is produced with our patented direct fiber processing technology and reinforced with carbon fiber. Talking about safety, another very important feature we introduced on the S3 is our new Schubert quick release system. Thanks to this safety device, in the unfortunate case of an accident, the rescuers will have the possibility to facilitate the removal of the helmet releasing the two cheek pads. The new Schubert quick release system is a simple but extremely important feature. Indeed, the removal of the cheek pads not only facilitates the helmet exit, but it also reduces the forces applied to the neck of the rider. In addition to the new Schubert quick release system, as all other helmets of our range, also the S3 will obviously feature our anti roll system, which as you might already know, consists in two additional safety belts connected to the chin strap and attached at the back of the helmet via rivets to prevent the roll-off of the helmet in case of an accident. I've started the S3 presentation talking about some of the safety features of the helmet, because develop the best head protection technology is our mission and is the main goal behind all our projects. But the second distinctive element of a Schubert is of course comfort. 
The comfort of the helmet is mainly influenced by four key factors. The geometry of the EPS, the ventilation of the helmet, the aeroacoustic performance of the shell, and the quality of the linings. The new S3 share the geometry of the main EPS with our top-of-the-range flip-up helmet. This EPS has been developed to evenly distribute the weight of the shell on the head of the rider. As you might know, the main EPS plays a key role for the safety and comfort of the helmet, but it's also extremely important to ensure a proper ventilation. Indeed, as you can see here, the air entering the helmet shell through the top vent and is distributed on the rider head via different air channels. While to ensure a permanent airflow, the back spoiler features an extractor to expel the air in excess. In addition to the top vent I just showed you, the S3 features also a double ventilation on the chin bar. The visor vent, together with the pre-installed Pillock under 20, prevent fogging while riding in extreme conditions, while the lower air intake is aimed to ensure a permanent airflow to the mount of the rider. And of course, the chin vent features as well a washable and exchangeable filter necessary to prevent the entrance of dust and insect in the helmet. Coming to the third factor I just mentioned, the aeroacoustic of the S3 is the result of two years of hard work in our wind tunnel to achieve the best balance of aerodynamics and very low noise level. The fourth must have in terms of comfort of any Schubert helmet are the high-end seamless lining. The S3 linings has been developed internally by a dedicated R&D division with the clear goal to combine a firm fit, which is necessary to ensure safety while riding at high speed, with an uncompromised comfort, which is extremely important while riding low distances. And, if needed or for individual cases, the S3 will also offer the possibility to customize the fit of the helmet with our Schubert individual program. The last key feature on all Schubert helmet is the plug-and-play communication system. The new S3 share with the C5 and the E2 our top-of-the-range communication system, which as all other Schubert intercoms has been jointly developed with Sena. As you can see, the new SC2 has been designed to offer an extremely fast installation. Indeed, the high-definition microphone and speakers, together with free antennas for mesh intercom, Bluetooth intercom and FM radio, are pre-installed in the helmet, so to install the system is enough to remove the two covers and plug in the control panel and the main unit. Being based on the Sena 50 series, the SC2 features all the latest technology available on the market, such as the mesh intercom for a virtually unlimited number of participants and the range up to 2 km. Before I come to the end of the product presentation, let's have a look at the 2023 color portfolio. Here in my end, I have an S3 Storm Blue, which is one of the nine colors we'll offer in 2023. The Storm design, which will be available also in silver and orange, is the most aggressive one and is characterized by sharp lines and different shades of colors. On the other end, the Daytona design, which will be available in yellow, red, and anthracite, stands out for its clean lines, which in our opinion gave to the helmet a timeless design. Finally, the S3 will be obviously also available in three solid colors. The top seller matte black, our famous alpine white, and the recently introduced concrete gray. I hope you enjoyed the presentation, but for more information on our new sport touring helmet, you can always visit us on schubert.com. Thanks for your attention. Christoph, the floor is yours again. Thank you, Matteo, and thank you for these detailed explanations. We are ready for production now, and the first helmets We'll leave our factory in Magdeburg soon. But of course, it always takes some time to deliver the helmets to our distributors and dealers worldwide. Before I close, I know I keep on repeating myself here and you know it from the last episode, but once again, I would like to thank everyone in our team. Results like the S3 are only achievable if everybody supports with full motivation. And the team, again, did a great job here. This includes external partners, suppliers and customers, as well as our internal experts that are behind every project. We do not just design and then develop or build elsewhere. We have our internal experts and our staff at the factory in Germany. And this team is what makes a helmet a Schubert. So thanks to all our experts in head protection technology. 
to have contributed to this project. Now, I think we come to an end for the second episode of news from Schubert. Enjoy your evening. Thanks for your attention and see you soon, hopefully. For now, I leave you with some more impressions on the new S3. Have a good time and always a safe ride. Oh, you have.